Hey there, in this tutorial, we're gonna make a fading transition. This is what we'll have by the end of this video. So as you can see here, we'll be able to fade from one room to another. We're gonna create a script that'll make it really easy to use the feature. So let's begin. Now here I have a project with two rooms. So here's what we have in the first room. And in the second room, we have this. So we're gonna fade between these two rooms. And now let's start working on the fade system. I'll come here into objects and create a new one. I'll name it OFADE. This object will only be created when we want to fade to a room. Now in the object, first of all, I'll make it persistent. This way the object will not be destroyed when the room changes. Now here in the events, I'm gonna add the create event. We're gonna initialize some variables in this event. First up we have the duration of the fade. So by default, a fade will be 60 steps long. And in Game Maker, 60 steps is 1 second unless you're on an older version. And then we have the target room. That's the room we're gonna go to after the fade. By default, it's set to the current room. Now this is the color of the fade. By default, it's set to white. Now in this part, we have some variables for this object. This is the timer. That's how we keep track of where the fade is. It goes from 0 to duration and back. Then we have the alpha or opacity of the fade. Its value changes based on the timer. And this is the state of the fade. If the state is 0, the fade is coming in. And if the state is 1, the fade is going out. So that's how we control the fade. Now I'm gonna go into events and add the step event. Here I'll add this. This part is gonna run if the state is 0. So that means that the fade is coming in. In that case, we increase the timer by 1. Now here we have a condition that checks if the timer is at the duration. In that case, we change the room. So we go to the target room. And then we set the state to 1. So now the state is 1 and the fade should go out. So when the state is 1, this part is gonna run. In that state, we decrease the timer by 1. Now when the timer reaches 0, we want the instance to be destroyed. So that's what we are doing in this part. If the timer is at or below 0, we destroy the instance. So now we have set up the states and the timer. And now we need to set the alpha of the fade. And that's what we are doing down here. So the alpha will be equal to the timer divided by the duration. So it's always gonna be between 0 and 1. Now the fade system is in place and we only need to draw it. So I'm gonna add a new event. I'll go under draw and add the draw GUI and event. This event runs after the draw and the draw GUI event. So the fade will be drawn above the game and above all the other GUI elements. And now I'll add this in the event. Here we are getting the dimensions of the GUI layer. So we get the width and the height. Then we set the draw alpha and the color. Then here we draw a rectangle. It covers the screen from 0 by 0 to width by height. Then finally we reset the alpha and the color. Now we're gonna create a script for the fading. So I'll go into scripts and create one. I'll call it fade to room. Now in the script, we're gonna add this. First of all, we have the required arguments. Here we have the room where we want to go. Then we have the duration of the fade. And then we have the color of the fade. Now here we store the arguments in local variables. So we have the room, the duration and the color. Then here we create an instance of our fade. The x, y and the depth are set to 0. So the ID of the new instance is stored in this variable. And then we run a with statement on that instance. Here we set the values of three variables. So we set the target room, the duration and the color. Of course they're all taken from the arguments. And now the script is done. We can now use it to start a fade. To do that, I'm gonna create a new object. 
I'll name it or controller. Now inside the object, I'm gonna add the step event. Now in the event, we're gonna add this. First of all, we are checking if the space key is pressed. That's when we want to fade to another room. And then we are also checking if an instance of our fade doesn't already exist. So if these conditions are true, we wanna start the fade. So inside the block, we are selecting the target room. So here the target room is set to room 1. But if we are already in room 1, we set the target room to room 0. So this way we are switching between the rooms. Then finally we call our script. So we pass in the target room variable. Then we set the duration to 60 and the color to white. So it creates a fade instance. That in turn makes this condition false. So pressing space again won't do anything. Now we're gonna place our controller in both of the rooms. And now we're gonna run the game. So I'm gonna press space to start the fade. And you can see that it's working. Now currently the fade is white, but we can easily change the color. So back in the step event, I'm gonna change the color from white to black. So let's test it out. And now we have a nice black fade. Now we can change the color to red and also make it shorter. So now this fade can be used for when the player dies and the level restarts. And that's all for this tutorial. Download link to the project will be in the description. Make sure to check out my other videos here. Subscribe here for more and I'll see you in the next one.